Hi guys, this is Liz. I am 13 weeks and four days pregnant today. Um, I went to go see the doctor a few days ago to get my NT scan and everything looks about normal. So <clears throat> how do I feel right now? Um, and as you know, every body is different, but right now I would say that starting a few days ago, my nausea went away at almost 13 day, 13 weeks on the spot. It's really weird. It's like clockwork. It's just, it's just completely went away that day. And I haven't dry heaved once in the past few days. So I went from dry heaving every single day in the past few weeks from my about fifth week to um, 12th week. And then it just, I just stopped and it's amazing. My sense of food aversion has really subsided and my appetite is coming back. I cooked for the first time in my own kitchen. I bought groceries for the first time in 13 weeks um, and it's really amazing. And I even ate leftovers, whereas a couple weeks ago, I couldn't even imagine eating leftovers because this idea of it would just make me so nauseous. But um, I feel great. I feel like this just bounce back in energy. I think mostly because the generic level of nausea has gone away. So by generic, I mean there's always a low grade feeling of nausea that I felt no matter what time of the day before I hit my 13th week. And that would really nab me and keep me from doing things during the day like i would just be working and then i'll feel like i'll like i'll acknowledge my my nausea and it'll just keep me from doing stuff um and then i'll get up to dry heave or if i haven't eaten in two hours i have to start thinking about what i want to eat um so i don't feel like that anymore i can go for five six hours without eating a meal and i f will feel like i'll be like hangry and everything but um, i won't start just dry heaving um, and feeling, you know, nauseous. So that's one thing. And other than that, uh, there's like new symptoms that are coming up, which is that I feel like a new kind of pressure in my bladder. So, um, <clears throat> like even when I don't have to really pee, I just feel like I have to pee. So I'll go to the bathroom and then I'll pee and then I'll like only a few droplets will come out. I'm like, that's really weird. It's not like I have a UTI. It, it's a different feeling from UTI, a urinary, urinary tract infection where like you always feel like you have to pee and you just like sit on a toilet constantly and nothing comes out. And when it does, it like burns. It's not like that. Um, there's just kind of pressure on the bladder. And when I do have to pee and I sit down, it, the pee flow is like interrupted. This could be like TMI, but whatever. Nothing's TMI here. Um... And yeah, so like a new sense of like energy and then <clears throat> no more nausea and no more having no more having food aversions and my cravings have really subsided a lot, although I've been kind of like wanting to eat like Indian food lately. It's lately it's a little bit weird. I've been making curries for the past week or getting curry or Indian food or Thai food. So it's not a, like a real strong desire, um, yeah. But the desire to eat sour stuff has also subsided a lot. In the past couple of weeks, I really wanted to eat like lemons and lemonade and grapefruit and kiwi and strawberries. I would eat like mangoes and pineapple and you know every single day and just crave the shit out of sour stuff. And now I feel less of a need for that. So the cravings have subsided. So the placenta must be taking over. Um, I had a low gray fever at 101.2 degrees that went away after I took one Tylenol um, over a couple hours. It's really weird. It just like came and it went. And my OB said that taking Tylenol is perfectly fine. Just don't take the extra strength one. Um, you don't want to subject your baby to a risk of any you know, birth defects from having a fever, although 101 is not that bad of a fever anyway. It's really when you reach like 103 or above um, that the critical risk really comes in. So that is my 13th week of pregnancy 
update. Uh, oh, by the way, during the scan, I had the doctor take a guess at the gender and she was like, oh, no, no, it's too early. I'm really not sure. Keep in mind, this doctor is one of the best doctors, one of the best OBs in New York, and she's gotten awards multiple years in a row for being listed in best doctors in New York. Um, and she's got like 40 years of experience. <laughs> she's incredible like premium care doctor. I have to pay like extra money to see this doctor. And she's looked at thousands of babies and I know that. So when I had to tear her take a guess and when she guessed that it was a boy, um, that it is a boy and called my baby a he, I don't know. I just have a sense that maybe it's like a 70% sure kind of thing. So I went from thinking that I was having a girl to like having a boy. So woohoo. Sorry for the messy background. 